Okay, this is Mike Soares of Seracy Tenor Guitars. Uh, this is our <coughs> first guitar for 2022. <coughs> it's uh, January 20th. It's basically uh, we're closed for the winter. We're in New York. We don't have heat in the, the shop. And we only build guitars uh, when the weather's nice. Uh, this is our thermometer that we keep in the shop. Uh, it's a bucket of water. <laughs> it's frozen. We don't work. When it's half frozen or completely defrosted, that's when we do our work. So we've had a couple of nice days this winter. So we're able to uh, get a couple of guitars started. But this is our 13-inch uh, lower bout arch top, 3-inch deep. Uh, sides on this here. Uh, flame maple back in a plywood. This is a flame maple on the sides and uh, we make our own jack uh, plates here. We use a large strap holder on both ends here so your strap holds on better. And uh, This is a uh, short casino tail they don't make the short casino tails anymore. They were used a lot in the 60s on the short scale guitars. And they only make the real short one for the basses now and the longer ones for the uh, regular arch top guitars, the 25 and a half inch scale. Uh, so we had to modify this one to make it shorter. Uh, probably in the spring I'll do a little video. I'll show you how to make these shorter if you need uh, to replace a casino on one of these 60's guitars that have the short thing. And But what we do on here is this is your standard casino. We make the the uh, rods smaller, uh, shorter rather, and we take a Les Paul stop bar that has the ears on the end and we cut the ears off. We redrill the two ends and so instead of having a six holes, you have your two ends, your number one and six string hole holds the bar, and you have your four strings on your tail here. It makes a nicer look on a tenor guitar instead of using a, a standard uh, six string. This is a uh, Tom Tunematic bridge with a wooden base. Again, this is a six string tom. We uh, take out the number one and six saddle and we convert it to a tenor. It's nice, uh, I think this is like an 11 inch, uh, 11 millimeter space on the bottom. But this is the same spacing that you're going to find on your Gibsons and your Les Pauls and your uh, Gretches and all your arch top guitars. It's a standard. Uh, Tunematic bridge. Uh, some other makers they're making these weird uh, size spacing. Some of them are 17 millimeters between the strings. They're using bass bridges. I don't know why, but uh, this is our fully adjustable. All your saddles are adjustable for getting your proper intonation. It's adjustable height and uh, rosewood uh, base on your bridge here. Uh, we make our own volume and tone knobs. These are from a vintage uh, radio knob that we recast it and we do it in an amber and then we uh, put the uh, brown burst color on the ends. So it goes with the tortoise shell. We have uh, your F holes are fully bound in a tortoise shell. The sides of your guitar are in a tortoise shell. It's a uh, white, black, white, black, white with a tortoise shell and this is uh, real celluloid. We make our own pick guards and uh, this is a custom uh, pickup that we have. It's a humbucking pickup uh, and we make our own plates for the uh, pickup on this here. Uh, this is pickup is wound to give you a nice bottom end that most people are missing on their uh, tenor guitars. This happens to be a plectrum tenor. <coughs> the 26 inch, full to 26 inch scale. And <coughs> unlike the guitars we've been making for the past 20, we've been making tenor guitars for 30 years now. 
but for the past 15 years we've been making them out of a what we call a uh, a linden top which is a, uh, a plywood that's made out of softer woods so it gives you the same effect as a solid spruce top uh, because of COVID we weren't able to get the linden plywood they're not making it they sold out what they had and they're not remaking it right now uh, so we <laughs> This is actually a solid wood top on here. It's a machine carved top. It's not hand carved. It is machine carved, but it is a solid spruce top. Nice, even, straight grain pattern on this here. Book matched. Uh, nice quality. Uh, we were able to get the uh, <coughs> solid wood tops on here. But these were actually, you'll see your the. Uh, curve usually they run up until the F holes and then they start to kind of pan out and go down. This goes all the way almost to the edge. This was actually a 15 inch uh, top that we cut down to a 13. The reason why we were able to get them is because they had little down the 15 inch, the bigger sizes, they had damages around the edges from storage. So we were able to cut away the damage part and get a 15 inch. Again, this is the same size as your Les Paul, only Les Paul is 2 inches deep. This is a 3 inch deep. But it's a true full acoustic guitar. There's no bridge block on here. There's no uh, tone bar on here. You have two old fashioned braces like you'd find on a vintage uh, 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, Gibson, K, Harmony, uh, Guild, guitar again so there's no block on here to, to, to kill your tone uh, some of them call them full acoustics they're really not this is a full true acoustic curfling lining on this here this is all old school build on this here what we've done a little bit different this year other than the uh, solid spruce top is we've actually re we, we changed our bracing so that the bracing is uh, fit it underneath the bridge around your F hole and the bracing actually goes wider now instead of going straight up your bracing comes out so we no longer have to cut our bracing when we put in our bridges and uh, this is uh, our neck is fully bound the top this is our uh, Gibson style open book uh, headstock Again, in the tortoise, uh, this is what we call a volute neck. This is a deep V-back neck, like you find on a 1930s uh, Gibson uh, banjo. Uh, before they started using truss rods, they used to have the deep V-back necks. And very strong, nice straight neck. Uh, fingerboard on this is a Puro Furo, which is a new replacement for rosewood. Very nice wood. Uh, this looks like ebony. Pearl dots, side dots on your uh, neck here. And bone nut. Uh, we use romantic tuners on this end. The customer, this is actually a soul guitar. Uh, and we, the customer asked for romantic tuning tuners on this here. So we gave them the romantic tuners. And again, this is a plectrum. <laughs> Full acoustic, nice, nice big acoustic tone on this guitar. Uh, we have a a little 10 watt amp here that we use in the shop. We do our wiring and setup, and just to give you an idea. truss rod, uh, tortoise uh, truss rod cover that we use on here. We try to go a little old school on this here. If you look at this, you'll see that we used all slotted screws on this here. The only place you're going to find one Phillips screw is under here 
that holds the uh, pick guard on. We didn't have that the proper size that we needed for the pick guard holder, so we had to use a Phillips screw. But even on your tuners, on the, the backs here, uh, the slotted screws, they do have Phillips screws on your, uh, your knobs, that's the way they come. But uh, we used all slotted screws. And uh, again, this is, uh, comes with a uh, hard case. Uh, we'll be building eight of these. And uh, we have them in a three inch. This is our three inch. We also have a, a two inch. I don't know if I have one available. But uh, we're going to have a two inch in the blonde. And we're also going to have a burst. Uh, we have three of the burst in the three inch deep. Uh, we'll be taking these more or less in the spring again, like I say, unless we happen to have a very nice winter. Uh, they're going to be coming out slow. Uh, sorry we're slow on the videos with COVID. We haven't been able to do much in, in the shop. Uh, it's hard for us to get materials and different things and we're also going to be building some some tele tenors uh, we use a left hand head on this here this is a right handed guitar and so it's bound we have these in a couple of different colors these are going to be made in a red, a blue, an orange and in a seafoam green but they're going to be limited to about two of each on that this year. Uh, we, we build them here in our shop. We build them one at a time. And uh, so we have a bunch of tele tenors that will be coming out along with the arch top. Again, this is Mike Soares. That's the Racy Tenor Guitars. Thank you.